Greetings, it's me, Firebee, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Reaper. Last time, we did Eve all the way up, and then looped the chest a few times. It was pretty fun. It was a thing that we did. And uh, this time, let's see. Who to play with? You know what? I haven't gotten anywhere with Judas, and I'm going to play Judas. Alright, Cellar 1. First item room is Ghost Baby. It's not terrific, but it's not terrible. Follows me around. Alright, I'll take the Petrified Poop on the first... in the first room. I'll definitely take that. Uh, nice. Anyways, Ghost Baby follows me around, shoots spectral tears. Those tears are, I think, 3.5 damage. That's generally how they are. If I can get some, like, an extra health can... Like, if I can get an HP up, I'll go into the curse room. I don't want to just get a, uh... I don't just want to waste a soul heart for it. That seems like a bad idea. Although, if I have to, I might consider it. Alright, boss time. Duke of Flies. So, Jesus is going to be doing lots of damage against something with not a whole lot of HP. Look at that chunking. Get wrecked. Get absolutely destroyed. Nope. Get out of here. The soul heart drops, though. That's not an HP up. And those are just pennies. I mean, it's... It's 12 cents, but... I don't even have a bomb for that. I don't even have a bomb for a secret room. Yeah, fuck you too. Alright. I could have kept that and just not gone in there and I would have had the same result. Except I would have had another soul heart. Oh well. That's how luck works, I guess. Alright. Another seller? I'm kind of okay with this. Vaguely okay. Two keys. I could go in there. I don't quite want to yet. If I have an excess of keys, I might. Oh, no, no, no. Strength, you say? Tell me more. Right, so I suppose I should say that Judas starts off with a fair bit of damage along with the Book of Belial, which gives you some amount of damage for the room you use it in. It's pretty nice. However, the one heart thing gets me every time. Alright, Splunker's hat lets me see that there is a secret room there, but doesn't let me get inside. I have to facilitate that on my own. And as you can see, I can use the book every three rooms. We'll check in here. Uh, if I get two more cents, I'm buying Mom's key. Because that's pretty much always worth it. Because that gives two keys and also, uh... I believe it makes chests be... have more things in it, or has a higher chance for chests to have more things in it or something. Alright, well, I'm buying it then. Plus, now I have two keys to get into the locked room over here, and I don't mind going in there. 
I don't remember being able to see what that was before. Maybe that's another thing that the Splunker Sat does now. Okay, a five. That re-rolls the floor. Which is not bad. Essentially would let me redo this floor. Get another item and all that. Might even let me have another devil deal, but I'm not sure. I very much dislike those. Not seeing any tinted rocks on this floor. Yet, at least. Alright, boss time! It's the haunt, because, you know what? It's, it's a cellar, it's always gonna be the haunt. At some point, you're gonna face the haunt. If you're on a cellar, that's just... that's just how that works. There's always some form of ghost sitting in your cellar, I guess. Alright, first phase dealt with. Normally, that's the one that I'm more worried about. But here, I'm slightly worried about that. Because that does lots of damage. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Hey, don't hit me again, please. Thank you. Alright, range up a black heart. Don't mind if I do. Alright, and then here... Uh, yes, that isn't... That does indeed say that it's two hearts. Taking it anyway, because I can. So even even though I had only one red heart container, I could take that for free. Not for free, but it just kind of set me down to. Um, it set me down to no heart containers instead. If this were the original, then I'd be in debt one heart, but that's not the case here, thankfully. So that is a thing to keep in mind, that if you do have only one heart container, you can take two heart deals. Damn it. Alright. Reroll. The floor. And welcome to the cellar too. Wow, it's almost like I was just here. I don't have a key to get in there quite yet. Oh, hmm. This is an interesting room. Not complaining about it. Since I picked up a thing that gives me damage and tears up. Since I seem to be slacking today on actually explaining what things do when I pick them up. Yeah, that's what I picked up out of the Devil Deal. Damage, tears up, two soul hearts which I tossed one of those away, thinking that there could be something good in my... in the curse room. Silly me. When is there anything any... When is there ever anything good in there? Okay, there's a key. We'll see what's in our item room. Would be nice to get some bombs, now that I know where all my secret rooms are. Oh, hey. It's, uh, it's Leo, isn't it? No, that's Capricorn. It is very easy to get those mixed up. Right. This isn't all stats up. Also, apparently gave me a bomb. And a key. Nice of it. Not actually sure which is more useful, the secret room or super secret room here. I guess we'll go with the secret room for now. I'm not sure on the exact stats on this. I know it's a damn. I know it does give all stats up, but exactly everything else, I'm not sure. Exactly. But I am sure of one thing. I'm going to the shop if I can find one. Which is to say, right here. Uh, we'll take this, we'll take the PhD, which does give us a pill. I found pills, I don't... No. 
And if I find another bomb, we'll go into the super secret room there. We might not. Depends on whether I get a match duck or a match book out of the boss item. It's Pin this time. I'm okay with Pin. Use Book of Lyle again. It also apparently gives a close to 100% chance for Devil Deals if you use it. Or, I guess, Deity Rooms. We'll say it that way. Apparently. I'm not 100% sure of that. Yeah, seems so. Alright, Caffeine Pill, Speed Up, Size Down, and a Random Pill. That could be useful, but I'd rather have a Strength Guard right now. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? We have... I think I can take both of these. Let's use the Strength Guard. We can take Demon Baby. And then we can take Spirit of the Night. Alright, so Demon Baby, I unlocked it two episodes ago. Essentially, whenever an enemy is close, it automatically shoots at them. Pretty neat. And then Spirit of the Night gives me flying and spectral tears. So it means that I can hide out on rocks and shoot at things from there. Pretty nice. Let's see if I can't find a bomb somewhere. Or, you know, get leapt on by 50 trites at once. That's an option. Actually, it doesn't matter if I find a bomb now, does it? I have an explosive diarrhea pill right here. I'd kind of rather not use it if I can help it. There's a bomb. Yeah, see? There's Demon Baby automatically shooting at them for me. Just because they're close enough. Balls of steel? Absolutely. Two explosive diarrhea pills, okay. We'll use one here. We'll open that, because I'm almost guaranteed to get more out of it than I put in, considering I got Mom's key. And look how much it gave. That is an amazing bounty. Right, we'll grab that one. Put out these fires. And we'll go check the super secret room. Hold on to the explosive diarrhea pill for now. Since I don't need to blow up all of these rocks. More pills! I found pills. Telepills. Speed up. I'll take two speed up pills. And sure, let's take a telepill. See where we go. There's like a 6.66 .66 chance, or 6.5 I think, chance to go to an I am error room with these. So, you know, figure I may as well check. It's not like I'd lose anything if I did get one. Right. Taking the explosive diarrhea with us, and we'll head down to the next floor, finally. Let's go! Nope. I, I said let's go. Down. There we go. I don't think I've gotten the boss rush with Judas, have I? Let me check right quick. Because I can do that. Um, no, I have not. So if I go fast enough, I may be able to. Of course, you guys know what happens when I try to go fast. It does not end well. But I think Judas has enough damage to pull it off. The only problem is his health most of the time, which I think I've dealt with. I need to be popping as many of these as I can. Liberty cap, you say? Interesting. 
Liberty Cap can give a lot of mushroom effects. Um, including, oddly enough, a, uh, you can get the compass effect for a room. I don't know why. It was a glitch in the original, and I just, I guess they just kept it. Nobody's complaining, that's for sure. Best friends, it's essentially a free bomb for me. So we'll make use of that. Right there. Also, enemies will go towards it. So there's that. Because they'll think it's me, for whatever reason. It's not terrible, but I'd really rather have the Book of Belial. Because the damage is good, and getting Devil Deals even better. There's a shop here, and I do have enough money and keys to go to it. Come here, you. Die already. There you go. Alright, what pill do you have? A telepill. And I'll... I'll come back for it if I remember. I don't want the blue map. That just shows me where all of my secret and super secret rooms are, and I already have that. Uh, I guess we'll buy this pill. Huberty. Sure. It doesn't do anything. And I suppose we'll just donate most of the rest of it. We'll hold out five cents for the next floor. Or, you know, twelve cents. Uh, what floor is this? Catacombs one. There's... Sure. It's early enough that that can still be useful. Normally I wouldn't buy it, but it was on sale itself. So, why not? Alright, there's a cursor room there. Might just do go take a peek in there. Especially since I can go in one way for free. Because when you're flying, you can get into them for free. Sadly, it's just spiders. Don't even get anything from it. Oh well. Only lost half a heart from it. Alright, so the right way must be up here. Key. Thank you for existing. Ooh. Yeah, that was just me being bad. Primarily. That was just dumb. I didn't expect that to hit me at all. Red heart? Nah. Super secret rooms are often right next to boss rooms for some reason. These be good. Range up. I'll take it. I'll take three range up pills. Sure. Why not? Why not? Bad guess. Another speed up pill. I'll take the explosive diarrhea with us. And boss time. Polycephalus. The one that is just completely heads, and can still just pop up right under your feet. Kind of. Seems to do so for me. I haven't quite figured out what makes it pop back up. So I guess you kind of have to keep close enough to it. So that it doesn't stay completely under. Alright, going to take the HP up before I go in here. Because if I don't, all of the devil deals will be three soul hearts. And I don't want that. However, it's Krampus, so... Nope. Nope. Alright, 
coal. I'm pretty happy with coal. It's a damage up, and the further away they get, the more damage they do, which makes it very good with the range up I got. I think I'm going to go get the Liberty Cap, because I don't think there will be a huge amount of poop to shoot in the coming rooms. Where did I put that? Down over here. Okay. And I didn't forget the telepill. So let's grab that, see if I go anywhere. No. Alright. Let's just go down to the next floor then. See if we can't make it before the boss rush room closes itself up. Where am I at for time? That's a good question. Let's see where the clock is. Uh, I should be exiting the next floor about now. According to it. 12 minutes. That's not too bad. Alright, I could go in there, but that's just a chest room. Which is, in my opinion, generally not worth it. Either takes a huge amount of keys to do stuff in there, or it'll be like a dime. I don't know if I want this. Let me check my stats. You know what? I'm not going to take it. That's the experimental treatment. It would essentially add a little bit to all my stats, and then it would mix them all up. I'll consider that if I need money. I don't right now, but I'll consider it. If I still had to fill in my donation machine, I would definitely take it, but I don't. I think Demon Baby is one of my favorite familiars. Which made me surprised that you actually have to go all the way to the dark room to unlock it. Since it shoots for itself. Let's see. Yes, and yes. Alright, Humbling Bundle. What that'll do is basically make it so that everything that drops will be a 1 plus 1 version. So all the bombs will be 1 plus 1 free. Keys, 1 plus 1 free. Pennies? Yeah, it'll be two pennies sitting there. I don't... I'm pretty sure it doesn't work for, uh, for nickels and dimes, though. But, you know, it's still pretty nice. Oh, it doesn't work for half hearts, or soul hearts, or sin hearts, but, uh, ordinary full hearts will be also, you know, a 1 plus 1 free, essentially. I don't like this room very much at all. Open your face. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I'm getting an awful lot of half hearts, though. Can't really show it off when nothing that drops can be doubled. Kane's Eye. That's just a better version of what I was using the Liberty Cap for. Death card. A Jera rune. Okay. Right. This is Cave Stew. Use the death card in here. Hi, Gertie. Get death. And then we'll go back for the rune. This is unfortunately a normal version of Gertie, so she will shoot. Or it will shoot. I don't really know. I guess we'll go with it for these. Or they. I don't know. I don't even know. There we go. That's still with. And... HP tears up and a bit of shot speed down. Pretty nice. And in here... Devil, I don't know what to tell you. I already have flight. Gonna grab the Jera rune. Very nice to have. Can double everything, including the chests in the chest. So if I get that far, eight chests to open in the first room. Pretty nice. Also, it looks like those hearts aren't actually affected by the humbling bundle.
balls of steel. Absolutely. Alright. I've gotten pretty much everything on this floor, so we'll just head to the next one. Yeah. Maybe I can still make the boss rush. I kind of doubt it, though. I think I've been a little bit slow in over exploring the floors, but maybe. Just maybe. You never know. Alright, depth's one at 15 minutes. And I have a pretty good idea of where everything is. I dispute that hitbox. Well, if there's anything that would show off how that works, that would be it. Alright, those can drop heart, uh, sin hearts and, uh, and cards, so I was hoping that one of those might drop something. Alright, up this way, place bomb there, get into my item room for free, well, relatively free, and look at all this money I'm about to get, rolling in it. Dry baby? Don't mind if I do. I will gladly take the dry baby. Dry baby sits in, uh, it's a familiar, and whenever it hits, whenever tears hit it, not your tears, enemy tears. Uh, like a certain amount of them, it's a random amount, I think. Uh, it will suddenly start doing damage to the room. Essentially, about the damage of. Uh, Blackheart, or Necronomicon, or Death Card. Uh, I could take the Sharp Plug, but I don't have anything to use it with, so... I'm just... not... What was this one? Tears Up? Tears Up! Absolutely! Yes, please. We'll buy a key. And we'll buy a... Okay, no. I thought it was gonna... It was gonna push me into the bomb there. Alright. I'm gonna blow that up, because I do need to unlock something by blowing those up. That, and they can give me stuff. Hi, wall spider. Get out of here. Alright, 16 minutes. Depths 1. I'll have to be quick on the next floor. Right, what's in here? Fortune machine, you say? Okay. I don't think that actually counts as blowing it up. Counts as bad luck on my part, though. The Fallen! Absolutely! Why, yes, please! Alright, so the Fallen can appear on pretty much any floor. I think even the basement floors. Although, that'd be a hard slog on the basement. <laughs> And we'll give a random devil room item as a drop. Oh. I don't know. Let me think about that one. We'll take Core Babylon. Gives uh, about 1.5 damage up and some amount of, of uh, speed up when you're at a half or fewer uh, red heart containers. I kind of like my tears. Mom's knife would be a lot of damage, though. We'll, t we're, we'll take it. It's it's a lot of damage. Alright, spectral doesn't matter, because knife goes through that anyway. And it's also piercing. What? Okay. Why? Yes, please. We'll try going this way. 
It also does a lot of damage to things, so it is probably faster than my tears, even though I did like them. I don't know if Cole does anything to it. But I do know that when you hold it, it does twice the damage that you had. And there's a dry baby, which apparently got hit by a tear. Nah, just come out my knife. Thank you. Go grab the bomb. Go into this big room. All right, there's a mini boss attached to this room. Sometimes it's just faster to walk up to things with the knife. I found pills. Nah. Not worth it. Right. Uh, about here, I think, is where to shoot for that. Or where to bomb for that. Close enough. Another one of these. Do have to be quick on this floor. What's this? credit card. That's essentially a free devil deal. Or a free shop, but I don't really need it. Stars card. Yeah, we'll do that. Takes me straight to my item room. SMB super fan. Very nice. All stats up. Alright, we'll go back for the Jera rune, and then... Because I don't have a huge amount of time left. Alright, gonna blow that up. Because it'll add it to the list of machines I've blown up, I guess. Yeah, I kind of thought this wasn't the right way. Had to check, though. Like I said, just kind of holding the knife there sometimes is faster than actually shooting it. Can lead to more damage, though. Like, like that. Much like that. Exactly like that, in fact. Okay, up is the way to go. Gotta go fast. So I have to beat Mom in, well, let's put it this way, a little less than a minute right now. It's probably possible with the knife, but I have to get there first. Get out of here. Which way is the right way? Don't care. This way is the wrong way. Something like 20 seconds left. Come on, pick up the chair rune. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Just a little bit too slow on this floor. Oh gosh. Well, I guess I'm not making it. Unless Pin wants to just give me a mom kill within a few seconds. Which isn't going to happen. Nah. Looks like I'm not getting it this time. That's alright. What are you even doing? Oh good. Greed. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nah, nah just get out of here. Another steam cell. Sure. They don't stack. Pretty sure on that one. Alright. Well then. Suppose that gives me time to bomb things. Like there. What's in here? Some more money. For, you know, the last shop which had nothing actually viable in it. Just had 
in as all. That was all that was for sale there. I don't even know why you'd put that for sale. I mean, who'd buy it? Really? Oh. Wait. I may be incredibly stupid. I may have just thought that the boss room was a mini boss room. If that was the boss room the whole time, I'm going to feel really dumb. <laughs> wow, I am dumb sometimes. Alright. Versus mob. Well, okay. I mean, we, we could have had a... Oh, right. Let's do this. Because, I mean, I could have done that. But, you know, oh well. I uh, yes. There's two pieces of guppy. The tail gives a higher chance of chest to spawn. Guppy's head, you can use it each room, and it will give you flies. Flies do twice your damage. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Still gonna take Book of Belial, though. Um, I guess after that, I'm just gonna go to the next floor. Wow, that was a dumb blunder to make. Oh well, though. Also, since I've gotten rid of all of my uh, red heart containers, now I can proc the Polaroid every time I get hit. The Polaroid being the item I picked up lets you get to... Well, lets you get to the chest, and also, if you have half a red heart or less, you get that every time you get hit. Pretty nice. Or every time you get to that state, you will. Also. It's a fairly neat item to have. Right, so I don't have to actually go speeding through things now. Totally could have had that boss rush. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, we'll take that. Anything good in here? Uh, could have a guppy item in it. Yeah, could be worth it. And by could be, I mean absolutely is. This room is way faster than the rest of the floor. Because it doesn't have that... That veiny filter on it. Hi, Loki. Bye, Loki. Hi, Chubb. Oh. Alright. Well, I mean, I have invincibility. Die, Chubb. I sure am getting a lot of money for someone who has no use for money. In game, at least. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Oh, how dare you dodge. You're just a giant bit of guts, I guess. I always think that they're brains, uh, for whatever reason. find it easy to get them and the, and the brain ones mixed up. I never know where to bomb in these big rooms. Good thing I have a lot of bombs. No, it can't be there. It has to be closer to here. Yeah? 
Why didn't the first bomb get it then? Gears up? Sure. Doesn't really affect this a huge amount. I found pills, explosive diarrhea. We'll take Jared Rune with us still. Nope, nope. You get back here, and you die. Thank you. I do need to keep an eye out for uh, tinted rocks on this floor. Because they're harder to see, and also I kind of need health. Because things start doing a full heart of damage at this point in the game. I don't see any yet. I should be taking a closer look. Any in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Store credit. Thanks. So basically, if I go into a store with this, uh, everything will be free. And by that, I mean everything will look free, but only the first purchase will be. And only in stores. It doesn't work for devil deals. Like the uh, credit card does. Apparently I'm going the wrong way there. Let's try going down instead. Ah. Rude. <laughs> okay, let's see what's down from here. No, it must just be some other way. I guess I'll unlock that. Yeah, because they generally give back more than they have. I'm not going to take that Eternal Heart. Because that would... Uh, well, A... Well, I'm not actually sure on that one. Whether it would think that that's a... I think it just would consider it as a half heart. But on the next floor, that would become a full red heart, and I don't want that. Not when I can have invincibility whenever I want, essentially. I suppose I could have more damage on the knife. Would be nice. Yes, give me all of the money, because that's what I need. Unless you're willing to then pay out with something like, oh, I don't know, money equals power, you should probably stop giving me money. That's pretty safe in there, because uh, those things on the sides can actually... They... you can't get... Uh, any contact damage from them. Yeah, Whip Arm does nothing. Normally that would max out shot speed, but the knife apparently has a set speed it goes. I don't see any tinted rocks in there. Mama Gertie, am I ever glad that I'm flying? Okay. And now you die. The belt speed up, okay. It's not actually all that good. Shit. Are you kidding me? I got the fucking goat head. Are you kidding me? The goat head is absolutely worthless to me. 
That was the last Devil deal, and I was already guaranteed to get it. Now I have no fucking health. Uh, shit. Well, I guess I'm taking that soul heart, or that eternal heart now. Since otherwise I'd die instantly. Doesn't matter whether I just had a full heart or not, I would have died instantly anyway. Release this lets me take one hit. Oh well. Wonder what that last one is. I guess I'll never know. To the next floor! And at this rate, I'll end up using the Jera rune on some soul hearts just to survive. Alright. Womb 2. No curses. I have dealt with... Oh, crud. I've dealt with Mom's heart with Judas, so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to worry about, you know, surviving a little bit longer than that. The Isaac fight I'm not hugely worried about because I can hide out behind the dry baby for most of it. At least for a fair bit of it I can. And here I thought I wouldn't be running into poop again. I'm actually surprised that I haven't run into any kind of luck affecting pills, whether luck up or luck down. Because I usually find them pretty easily, fairly often. Oh good, super greed. That's what I wanted. You know what? No. You get to die instantly. Get fucked. Fuck! Suppose I got fucked there. Alright, so I die in a single hit now. I don't know why I'm picking these up. I already have max coins. Hi, Chub. No, how about not? No! What the shit? Stop. Thank you. Give me soul hearts, please. No. Instead, you insult me. Thanks. Okay. I guess we're back to how it was originally. With one heart and lots of damage. Except for the fact that at least before I could take a couple of hits. If I could get to half of a heart, that would probably be good, but I don't think it's actually possible at this point. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. And there's a severe lacking of soul hearts around here. Oh well, shit. Well, I guess I just have to... hope. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Don't you dare fucking hit me! Don't. You. Fucking dare! Get down here! Die to an extreme amount of damage. I don't care how you do it, but I have a heart attack. D. 
the attack is a knife. Come on. Alright, one more. Okay. No hit there. I knew there was nothing in here, but I had to check. There's a vague chance for soul hearts and such. And that could be a... That was possible to become a... It could have been a tinted rock up there. But it wasn't. I guess I go up to the cathedral. Come on, soul hearts. These aren't soul hearts. These are homing shots. That's a lot of money, but that's not soul hearts. Don't get me wrong, I like... I'm, I'm a fan of getting lots of money, but that's not helping me at all. That's more money. These these are hearts. Puberty, that does nothing! Wait. No. It wouldn't let me through there if it. No, it can't be the boss room. That has to be a mini boss. Yeah? If it lets me bomb into it, then it's probably not the boss. Yeah, it's, it's not the boss room. I'm apparently getting confused as to what the mini boss rooms and what the boss rooms look like. Seems to be a thing today. I highly dislike these enemies. They're the bane of the existence of anybody with low health, because they can just appear anywhere. And they don't seem to care about which way they shoot to where you are. No. If I had more health, I'd consider it... I'd consider just walking in there and grabbing it, just so that it didn't appear in the chest. But I don't, I don't have the health to care about that. Okay, there's one of them. There's two of them. There we go. Those are bombs. Those are not anything I can actually use. Those are things that kill me, rather than things that stop me from getting killed. I don't see any tinted rocks there. Right, there is a super secret room here. Please let it be the one with the dark room that has... I'll take it! That's still a lot less than I'd like to have, but I'm not going to risk going and getting more. Instead, I'm just going to camp out. Mm. Fuck! It's very difficult to camp out behind the dry baby. When the dry baby is not directly next to you. No, 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 no. Fuck. Damn. So close, but I always end up with having no health with Judas. Whether I die at the beginning of the run or the end of the run, it's always because somehow I have no fucking health. Hmm. Oh well. That was a fun run, at least. One, one of these days. One of these days, I'm actually going to manage to get a victory with Judas. But today is not that day, unfortunately.
Oh well. Let's see. Next time. Next time we'll do something with somebody else. Who it'll be, I don't know. Maybe Maggie. You know what? We'll try Maggie again next time. We'll see if we can manage to actually succeed with her, perhaps. I don't know. Whether we do or not, no way to tell unless you tune in next time. So, until then, farewell. <laughs>